Hey, and welcome to this video about toggles in Bubble. This is a part two about toggles. In this video, you're gonna learn an icon-based rather than a plugin-based uh, method for creating some nice looking toggles in Bubble. What you're gonna to wanna to do to start out with is go over to Add Plugins and search for Feather, Feather Icons. Click Install. And that, what that will do is it'll get you a nice iconography set that we can put onto the page and start working with. So down underneath uh, visual elements, look for the feather icons, draw one in. And then here on the right hand side, um, scroll down to T for toggle. Um, okay, so let's think. Toggle right will be when it's off, and we'll have it be this icon color, or let's go ahead and just copy this one. And uh, why are we doing this video? Well, sometimes plugins will uh, just stop working as Bubble gets upgraded, but an icon set always will work. So I'll leave that to you as the decider of um, what you want to build in yours. There's also paid plugins out there. Uh, the folks over at Zero Code make a nice paid toggle plugin. And again, the value that you get when you do something that's paid is that you, uh, you know, you know it's going to be supported into the future. So I recommend that option as a legit legitimate one as well. So what do we got here uh, with with as we continue on in this video? Well, we're going to look at this feather icon uh, a thing, and we're going to set up in the previous video when we built this one, we set up a state here, and we're actually going to. Uh, now tie it to this toggle demo page. So we're going to set up a new state, and we're just going to say uh, the icons toggle value, and we'll set that as yes or no, and then we'll just default that to no. And so when this is no, basically we, we're going to have it set like this, and then we can have it be clicked. And when it is clicked, or rather when um, the, the state is changed, so that state that we just set up over on, let's see, toggle demo page. This toggle demo page now has this state. When it is uh, yes, what we want to do is we want to change this from toggle right to toggle left. So toggle, no, actually we want it to be toggle right. I think I got this wrong. Toggle left here for this part. Okay, and we probably want to change the color of it as well. So the icon color, maybe we want to go with, uh, you know, similar to here, like there's there's a green that would make sense to indicate to people that it is on. So um, once again, we're going to want to wrap this because this icon does not have a way to start or edit a workflow to get around that. There's a couple ways. You could, you could put a link on top of it um, or like an, a, an empty image. And you know what, I'm gonna actually do that because last time we wrapped a group holder. Well, this time we are going to put an image here. And let's search for free images. No, actually what I'm gonna do is I am going to say one by one PNG. And here we go, Wikipedia's got this nice one by one PNG that we will, let's see if I can click it. <laughs> Oof. To try and download. Well, we'll see. Okay, great. So we've got a one by one PNG. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload that. And then, but we're going to have this match the same size as this icon. So 60 by, let's go 30. And everything's looking pretty good there. So 60 by 30 at 240, fixed width, image A. Everything looks, looks great there. So now we've got a start and edit workflow thing that we can access. So what we want to do is we want to set the state of our newly created uh, the tech toggle demo page, which is the name of this page here in Bubble. And we just want to update that to, um, let's see, we want to update it to yes when 
some just a little bit of a different way that you, we can accomplish the same thing that we did on the previous video. So a little bit of uh, extra learning to put into your knowledge quiver. The, we can say only when this is no, we'll change this to yes. And then we'll copy and paste that. And then we'll say only when this is uh, yes, that we'll change this state to no. Okay, so and then the last thing you wanna make sure is that this is a bring to front. And then let's preview that. Okay, so here's our little icon, and uh, not, it is quite little. Let's take a look at our step-by-step -step, uh, workflows as we click this. What happens? Okay, so did I assign a value to it? I forget. Run next. Run next. Okay, so we can see that it updated and changed the green. Why did it change the green? Well, because the Toggle demo pages icon toggle value is now yes uh, from that workflow we set up. So I'm going to stop that. We're going to see it one more time. When we click that, we can see that this runs. Well, okay, so these are our two different conditionals, and right now it's um, it, it is uh, it's yes. So it's not going to run the one that's no, but then it will run this one that is yes. So now it'll go from yes to no. And then boom, we can see that that update. I'm going to put it back to normal speed here after we check. Let's look at one more time uh, the toggle demo page. We can see that its value has gone to no. And just one thing to note that when you are working with this, uh, to make sure once you hit inspect or whatever, uh, you'll have to hit stop to have any updated workflow values that got saved as a change and then hit inspect again to see that update. So let's do this as a final check here. We'll click this. Okay, we can see that it's, uh, well, we can just see that it toggles back and forth, but we can also inspect this and then see, oh, see, see how I had to re-click that for this value here to update. So just some things to note when you're working with a debugger uh, to note that what you are observing is in fact what is the reality of the system behind the screen. <laughs> so uh, then when we click this for, uh, we'll actually stop this. Ah. Okay, it's not a fan. I've angered it. Okay, so here it is on. We inspect this demo page. Yes, it is on. We hit stop. We turn it off. We hit inspect. And then notice how I have to click this and update it again for the left-hand side value to give us the true value of its current state. So there you have it, a way to create an icon-based toggle switch if you so desire, uh, if a plugin is not working for you or you um, just like the design of this little toggle switch and you think it would work great for your app, uh, here you have it. So like or subscribe this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you.